So, um... Yeah. So, that's what the Dark Iron Scraps are about. Sorry, I'm kind of getting stuck. Ever feel, feel a weird way and then you just feel like you're running around in circles? Yeah, same here. I just feel like I'm stuck in a, uh, you know, a rot of sorts, but I'm just like, am I making sense? Am I forgetting something? And, you know, it's it's doing my otter head in. And I'm sure it is doing yours in, too. I think I'm just going to do this whole set as, you know, bonus long. If I remember. I'll, 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 I should put a note on it. If I remember, I will. You've worked your way... Um, so, yeah, anyway, Dark Iron Scraps went to the Argent Dawn to a particular guy there back in pre Kata. He doesn't accept it anymore, though, since Kata changed so goddamn much. I keep forgetting this is also a ramp. I don't think it used to be. I think you had to go the other way. That or I was just blind. One or the other. I want to say I wasn't. You've worked your way up through the Brotherhood's corporate hierarchy, Undead. I'm going to look, uh, upon, uh, look favorably upon you. Quite an accomplishment. If you are interested in more work and earning more respect among us, amongst us, listen up. We can refine our fiery flux by adding simple dark iron residue to the mix. The dark iron residue can be found in black rock depths. Bring me all the dark iron residue you can find. So yeah, run the depths, you get residue, and you can turn it in for rep, or you can auction it. really hoping I could just fly t directly down, but no such luck. I think there is someone you can talk to to get all the uh, flight points for um, like Eastern Kingdoms for Kalimdor, for your alts. But we'll get to see the next zone in the Burning Steps as a Horde. Um, I imagine it's going to um, be somewhat similar to the Alliance one, but uh, you never know. I haven't actually done it as Horde yet, so we'll wait and see. Uh, if you want to see the Alliance one, I did it back on... I actually don't remember my rogue. I have anyway. I have a worgen rogue. I did it on him. I actually don't remember what he's called. Do you still get dismounted here, or do you not? You used to get dismounted here. You used to have to come through here on foot. I think they changed that counter. Which is honestly a very nice change given the size of this place. There also used to be a quest in here. Word writes to. Ghost here used to give you a quest to reclaim his hammer from some twilight, twilight hammer torn and uh, do something with it. And there should still be a quest down here. Remember back in the days when lava did a lot less damage. Now, um, remember it was, it was dangerous to fall in, but. There was a sweet spot of time for maybe an exp expansion or two where you could comfortably just chill in lava for ages. It still did like classic damage, but you had, you know, 100,000 hit points. So it's like 80, or like 800, 800, 800. But you're at 100,000 hit points. So you can like get up, get a cup of tea, and come back and maybe be on half, half health. Nowadays, nah, it just demolishes you no matter, uh, you know, uh, what house you're at. Our this guy. 
I want to say he used to have different lines or look different. I want to say. Obviously, can't be certain. Actually, he would have looked different and had different lines. Because he's using the butt of model and lines. And he that would have been in Burning Crusade. Um, in Classic. But I was weren't a thing to Burning Crusade. There was a high elf standing outside the Ghostlands portal to, well, the Plague uh, Plaguelands portal to the Ghostlands, uh, with the name Adon. But I'm not sure when he was actually even introduced. But uh, the fabric of our world is woven most delicate. It merely takes some knowledge and the application of said knowledge to tear the fabric. It is thusly that rifts are born. Before, he used to offer you a quest, and the reward was a portal to Molten Core, but you had to jump through the window to get to, to that portal. Um, and the portal would look, well, like the, you jump through the window and you'll be teleported, but the window wouldn't look any different. So if you actually hadn't done the quest, and like uh, you couldn't remember, you thought you had, you were in the lava, you were probably dead too. But now he can just teleport you. Keep your wits about you. Really? I only have to level 50. My god. That's insane to me. You only have to be like level 50? God damn. That's... Like, I could have entered there if I'd gotten a bit more XP. Hmm. God damn. I figured I would be denied because I'm not level 60, but level 50? God damn. But yeah, Forge Right, the guy, he built important stuff here. Um, you find his ghost. You, you can or could find his ghost down there, and he'll give you a quest to um, kill a guy in uh, the depths. Um, and get his hammer, reclaim his hammer from him. There is the way to uh, Blackrock Spire. Ubers and Lubers. They were raids back in the day. I think I remember hearing something like that. Once they, yeah, let me just look this up. I remember they, like they basically had a few dungeons in Classic that were actually temporary raids or something. Uber's raid. Wow. Apparently, a item you could could have gotten, uh, shirt of Uber. You have a duration for three hours. I tested Argent Raid Heroic, and all I got this was a stupid T-shirt. Same model as a lavender mage weave shirt, though. Ah, this is it. Uh, um, apparently, uh, Ubers actually, it probably doesn't anymore, had, um, it was, the player cap was set for 15 before um, patch 1.10. Uh, oh, sorry, Ubers was for, you know, a normal group of players, but Ubers was intended for 10. Well, but had, could have up to 15. Then it was lowered to 10. So, yeah.
So yeah, it was it was like a raid dungeon, if you get me. Not quite a raid, not quite a dungeon. Keep in mind that raids back in Classic were 40 people. So, uh, yeah. Ah, this is actually a vanilla um, wiki. Interesting. I didn't even notice. But yeah, um... So yeah, it's... Yeah, uh, oop. According to the... What was it? I prefer to source it. That way it's wrong, you can blame them. Vanilla-wow.fandom.com They, uh... Um, according to them. Just make sure everyone's fun. Um... Ubers was for five people. Ubers was for, uh, Lower Blackrock Spire was for five. Upper Blackrock Spire was for ten, but you could have up to fifteen for a time. So, um... Wait, are they at the same point? Okay, that's just weird. What is this, a timeshare? Oh, so... Ariok. Oh, I can skin this too. Also, Ariok. I think I know you. He is in one of either two places. Uh, easiest one to check is you. Okay, actually, if I look up his name... Yeah, he is in Wad. It's Deadeye. He, so, yeah, this guy turns up again in Wad. So, it's cool to see him here. Wonder if you can do any other quests for him. Let's look that up. Aria. He's actually no, this is his first appearance. He's actually the son of Etric. Who is a Um He's a buddy of Tyrion and a Tyrion Forgering and he was an advisor to the... Well, he is an advisor to the War Chief of the Horde. Well, I'm, I doubt he's advising Sylvanas, but... Yeah. So, anyway, Ariok is actually his son. That's what I was trying to say. I think I think I just skipped a point... It skipped, like, the mid part of that sentence. And just brought up the other guy. Etrig. Or however you say his name. Uh, so, yeah. Th this is the first time he appears... This guy appears in the game. And, uh, he's actually the other guy's kid. Actually, let me reopen that. Does he appear any, at any later point? Well, no, he just appears in Kata and then in Wad.
So, anyway. So, yeah. Uh, it's actually... Basically, you can save him as part of the de uh, the fight in Wad, and you get him as a follower. Uh, alliance or Horde. Oh. Friendly Dwarf. But it's on... No uh, He's never seen it again after that, so it's unknown if it's actually even canon. I'm choosing to believe it is. Actually, I forgot to skin the wolf. It's probably gone now. I'm not even sure where I killed it anymore. Yeah, it's definitely gone. I got too much. But, um, I'm not used to being. Uh, I'm not used to having skinning. Actually, no, I did skin it. Fantastic. Well done, me. So, yeah. Uh, instead of getting... Well, that was nice timing. Instead of getting Keishin, I get Ariok. So, I figured that we're probably going to go through the same motions, but with just a bit of a different sheen to it. So, let me think. Why else was... So yeah, all I was trying to say was, this. Uh, I first met this guy in Wad, but this is actually his first appearance, but he's only visible to Horde here. Um, and sadly he has no other other appearances, and there's some, you know, big name, a WoW character, Etrig, or however you say his, say, it, say his name, excuse me, he's been in a lot of content, a lot of stuff, he's actually his dad, which I didn't know, I'm not sure where you find that out. Probably a horde quest, or maybe it's there's like a book or what have you. Uh, or, you know, one of the novels. But anyway, I'm a black rock orc by birth. I spend a large part of my youth inside that mountain. Ariok motions towards black rock mountain to the north. But while I share blood with them, I do not share their outlook, and I'm seeking an ally to assist me in stopping their upcoming attack. So prove yourself. Travel south to the whelping downs and slay their whelpers and the, the hatchling black dragons. Prove to me that you're ready for this war. Go Here oh, Iolfist sent you. Ha. Ah. Did he ever tell you how he got that got the name Iolfist? I'll have to ask him about that one sometime. The dark the Black Rock uh, the Black Rock Orcs of the Steps and serve a dark master, one who performs twisted experiments on living creatures to create his own menagerie of abominations. Many of his test subjects are as corrupted as their master, but others are completely innocent. In the whelping downs to the south, there are chained baby dragons to the ground. They chain baby dragons to the ground for such experiments. I will not stand for this. Break their fetters and return to the hatchings to me. To safety. The war chief uh, has requested that any able bodied adventurer head to Black Rock Depths and meet, uh, west of Flame Crest immediately. The Dark Iron Dwarves already have attacked our alliance held Ridge, uh, Red Ridge, and if left unchecked, may soon threaten our few hordes, uh, footholds in southern Azeroth. If you, if you so choose, head to the Black Rock Depths and speak with High Executioner Nazrak, uh, Nazrak who's ref reforming the uh, Kargat Expeditionary Force to finish off the Dark Irons once and for all. 